Hey everybody, welcome back to March Mondays. This week is the week for a Russian march. So here is Vasily Agapkin's Farewell to Slavyanka. Slavyanka is translated to Slavic woman, and this march was dedicated to those women whose husbands went away to fight in the first Balkan War in 1912. This is like super patriotic Russian march. It's so epic. We've got your heavy minor chords um, and repetitions of things that just, it doesn't get old and it's so awesome. This march was actually recommended in the comments uh, more than once, so I figured I'd do this one this week. Um, and I did my very best to include all the parts because there's so much going on at all times. <laughs> The way this is scored out is kind of cool too. There's two cornet parts and two trumpet parts, um, but they don't have as many fanfare sections as you may think. There's actually a few bit of fanfare sections in the woodwinds as well. Um, so it's cool to see how these different elements, different instrument groups are featured in ways that the other groups would be featured. I think it's very well done. We also have some lovely counter melodies from the tenor sax section um, that kind of just sing above, uh, featured with the lower brass as well. Um, but I kind of liked it how the tenor sax was featured more so than the euphonium in this case, which is kind of rare. And this time, the tenor sax is at the forefront. Looking at this march as well, um, it's not scored out. It doesn't look like most other marches too, where you have, you know, your sort of main body, the trio, and sometimes repeating back to the top again. Um, it sort of has that repeating back to the top, but it's laid out as if the trio is in the middle and then the return is just written out at the bottom because there's more, um, more layers being added after the trio per se. So it's just, ah, oh, it's one of a kind. So the dynamics in this march are also pretty cool because they're kind of swapped. Um, usually you hear in a, when repeated sections, you hear it quiet the first time, loud the second time. In this one, you hear a lot of loud the first time and choir the second time. I think that has a really cool effect. It's not done very often and it definitely works. And there you have, farewell to Slavienka. Thank you very much for watching and hope to see you next week for another March.